Today I want to talk about, whoa, my microphone, bro. Yo, is that better? Hello? Hello? Whatever. Can you hear me? All right. Well, today I want to talk about why you should get a job. Now, this mostly depends on your circumstance and where you're at. But for the most people, I would recommend to get a job as soon as you can. For me, I always wanted a job ever since I was like really young. I always wanted to own a business and make money. I tried to make merch when I was young, I guess. And then I would like edit videos for kids in my class because <laughs> we always had like school projects and I made the best meme videos for my school project and kids would pay me to edit them. And then I wanted to take their money because I felt bad. But sometimes people pay me like five bucks, bro. I was balling, balling, but not really. I probably made like seven bucks total from it. <laughs> but, you know, once I turned 14, because that's in my state, 14 is like the legal age you can get a job. I was always like applying for jobs. Always, always, always. I never got any jobs. The week I turned 15, I got my first job selling timeshares, which I made a story time on that if you want to check that out. But it's always good because not only does it teach you responsibility, but you also can, you know, make money, help your people out and save up and invest it like into YouTube or whatever you're into, whatever your thing is, sports, you know, whatever it is, you know, and it helps you build a good resume. It helps you learn and build experience. And the best part about that is like if you still live with your parents and like um, you're sheltered, you can call it, I guess. I don't know. They, people call that a lot, which it's not bad. You can experience things while you're sheltered, which is a lot better. Like if you're living with your parents, go out, out, go out and try to do things in the real world. If they're okay with it, try to learn how to cook, you know, and have them teach you if they're okay with it, obviously. Um, and stuff like that, right? That way, if you screw up or something happens, like you can't do it, you get hurt, like whatever it is, you can fall back on them. And then you learned. So that way, when you're out in the real world alone, you're, you already screwed up. You already made the mistakes while you were living with your parents. Like, let's say you make a mistake, you get fired. Okay, you lost your job, but you live with your parents. So you're good. It's not like, um, it's not like, you know, you're out in the real world and then you, now you can't pay rent and you're screwed. You know what I'm saying? That way, I think it's better that way, you know, to experience those things while you're, you know, still living with your parents. And nowadays, we see so much crap on social media. Hang on, I'm so thirsty, bro. Oh, my gosh. Yesterday, I hit, like, 13,000 steps. Wow. And today's, like, 9 a.m. I, I got PTO off work, luckily. Thank God, bro. But I think it's better to experience it while you're still with your parents and help them out, too, like, no matter what your relationship with is with your parents, like, they're your parents, you know, you got to honor your mother and father, you know, it talks about that in the Bible, and I, I just, like, you know, be respectful, you know, whether or not, you know, you think you're right and they're right, just be respectful, you know, you're in their house, okay, just, just, okay, whatever they want, just do it, you know, help them out, and maybe that way, you know, things will get better, too, but, you know, just just be the bigger person always you know that's what i always like to say because i know it sounds cheesy but <clears throat> it's for real so much better but you know a lot of people talk about oh don't go to, don't go don't ever get a job don't go to college it's stupid it's stupid it's dumb it's bro you gotta do what you gotta do i don't think it's bad there's legit nothing wrong with having a job there's absolutely nothing wrong with it having a business is a headache you have to deal with so much crap <clears throat> and when you have actual employees you got to deal with more crap and and they're really expensive. You know what I'm saying? You know, sure, everyone wants to win the lottery. Everyone wants free money. Having an easy business is like winning the lottery. You know what I'm saying? Businesses all have their pros and cons. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it might be like you might not get paid for six months. You might, and while you're doing those six months, you're paying other people salaries. Imagine you're paying like 10 people a salary and you're making zero dollars. How are you going to do it? You know, that's why like a lot of businesses are like hard. But also, like, there's nothing wrong with while you're building your business to go to school and go to get a job. Like, there's legit nothing wrong with doing what you have to do and making sure you're set up for success. That way, you know, let's say things fail. Okay, well, I have this job. I've been working at it for a few years. I'm in a big position. I saved up a lot of money. I invested a lot of money. I'm set. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't listen to these people online because all the people who are like, don't get a job, don't go to school, and they're not doing anything, and they're entrepreneurs, like, I hope I wish them the best, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, if they're like, give them four years, five years, you don't know where they're going to be at. But if you work for four years, you know, around where you'll be at or you might be in a better position. And if if they're in a better position, then good for them, man. But you can do both. Like It's possible to do school and work. 
it's possible to do school work like a part-time job and build a business it's hard it's don't get me wrong it's really hard but it's possible and let me try to find where i died at you know so it's not like um it's impossible you can definitely do it and a lot of people online are like oh don't do it don't go to school don't go to school and a lot of them probably end up regretting it but yeah of course like um you know some schools are scams i think like um like if you're gonna pay thousands of dollars to go to university for you know a degree that you can get like online or at a community college like do that like again there's nothing wrong with community colleges or online schools nothing wrong at all like you just got to be smart it's like some schools are like the gucci of other schools but like if you want to go in for like a doctor or like a lawyer those things yeah i kind of get you might want to go to like a prestigious school but again like at the end of the day, bro, for real, no one cares. Like, like I mean that in a good way, a positive way. Like, if you have a degree here or here, at the end of the day, no one cares. People are going to look at that and say, oh, that's amazing you have a degree. No one's going to think about it like that. Or if you don't have a degree, people aren't going to say, oh, this guy's an idiot. He doesn't have a degree. No, they're going to look at your strengths. So you want to promote your strengths, you know. And you have to understand at the end of the day, too, no matter where you're at, people honestly don't care. Like, I know we have so much pressure on ourselves to, like, I got to be the smartest kid. I got to be the best. I got to be have the best grades, the best GPA. And 10 years from now, would it really matter? Or 10 years from now, if you have a 4.0 or a 3.5 GPA? No. Oh, I found my base. No. Like, like for real, it does not matter. So don't sweat about things like that. Don't trip about things like that. But also, you know, I think as young as you can, like, you know, if your parents are cool with it, yeah, why not get a job, man? Why not get that experience? You know, why not learn? You know, why not? Like, what do you got to lose? And that way, it, it can help you build your career faster. Like, if you really want to be a YouTuber, like in my case, it helps you because you have that income to, you know, hire editors, hire thumbnail makers, invest in channels. You know, it helps you to invest in it and not have to worry because YouTube doesn't pay that much if you're not getting a lot of views, you know, or selling something. So that's why I think it can help a lot of people. And I see a lot of people scared to get jobs or tired or lazy, but like, bro, just hustle, man. You know what I'm saying? Who cares if you have to work, go to school and do all that stuff? Like, put away the video games for a while, you know? And I'm trying to find where I'm at. So I died at like negative 2000 Z. So I have to go straight. Right? No, that's going down. Shoot. I also have to go this way. Yeah, I have to go this way. So let's just go sleep. And we're, we're going to go back and get our stuff from the last video where we died. Because that, that Enderman made me so angry, bro. Like, like for real. That's so annoying, man. Like, he just attacked me for no reason. I ran and hid, slept through the night. I came out, and he's chasing me. So, he's, he, he's like, camped. He, he's a camper, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, whatever. But, yeah, you know, things aren't that big of a deal. You know, like, it's not embarrassing to get a job. Like, Sure, okay, even if someone makes fun of you and laughs at you, I'd have, I've had people make fun of me and laugh at me for working at a thrift store. Like, why would, a th would you work at a thrift store? Why not at McDonald's? I'm like, because fast food's not my thing. Like, I just can't do fast food or food. I'm sure I can if I'm desperate, but, like, I just don't like it just because it's so fast-paced for me. I, I can't. You know what I'm saying? It's just not something I, I can do, it, you know, but a lot of people do good in that. But, um, you know, like, whatever. Let them laugh at you. Maybe they're jealous. Maybe they're insecure. Maybe they want to – maybe they're, like – they, they're embarrassed to get a job and then they're jealous you're making money and have a job and you're successful or they couldn't because we're all young and it's hard to get jobs. But, like, there's nothing wrong with it, bro. Don't beat yourself up. But, what am I going to do? Yeah, like, it's not bad to get a job. You're doing what you got to do at the end of the day. Everyone, millions of people have jobs, you know? Like, billions, I think. <laughs> you know, so don't worry about it. You know, what's worse? So you have a job and you're making money or you don't have a job, you don't make money, you can't afford anything you want to do, you can't invest in your future, you can't invest in anything you want to do, you can't afford food, clothes, like, what's, what's worse, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're in a position where you're blessed and you can work, why not take advantage of that and work, bro, and provide and compound your money and invest it, you know? And by invest, I mean, you can invest in stocks and stuff like that. I mean, like, for me, I want to invest in, like, projects. You know, like YouTube. I really want to just do YouTube, so that's why I'm like investing in a little bit. It's it's been failing, but don't get me wrong, it's whatever, bro. Like this channel's just like a fun channel, I guess. Just a passion channel. Maybe I'll grind on it more because I want to hit hundred K. Dude, if I hit hundred K on this channel, I'll be so happy, bro. 
I'll be flabbergasted. I'll make a shirt that says I'm flabbergasted. You guys should check out my merch, epicswagboys.com. <laughs> I have the dumbest shirt names there. Like, um, like one says I'm not stupid. That's my favorite one. Okay, so we're almost there. Sort of. So is it this way? Would it be this way? Okay, it's this way. Yeah. Dude, I gotta get there so fast. Dude, if my stuff despawns, I'm gonna be so annoyed. But I don't think they'll despawn if I'm not in the chunk, right? Like, if I'm not in that chunk, they won't despawn. Let's see. But let me know your guys' input on that. Like, what do you think about getting a job and stuff like that? But, like, like I said, if, if your grades are tanking, focus on the grades a little more, you know? I, I would recommend that. Especially if you wanted to be, like, in a really high position. Like, like, a, like a, I don't know, not high position. You know what I mean? Like, a hard job, like a doctor, engineer, and you need to study, study, then maybe, you know, focus on coding. That's one thing I regret. Like, when I was in middle school, I wanted to practice coding. But I got lazy, and I didn't do it at all. Like, this is too hard. But if I had started that then, by now, I would have been, like, a code pro. I would have been so smart with code, you know. But it's all good. At least I'm, a, I'm really good with YouTube, sort of. Like, I know a lot about YouTube, but I fail. But it's okay. It's okay, Habibi. It's okay, bro. Let's see, dude. Okay, we got, like, another 1,000 blocks to go to. Bro, I hope all my stuff doesn't despawn. I'll be so upset. I'll be so mad. I'll be so mad, bro. But yeah, like I, I was, I've been trying to get a job since I was fourteen, and I'm just always like working and grinding and hustling. And it just, yeah, like that. It's just gonna make your life a lot easier and stuff. I think. But some people are against it. Like, no, don't do that. Just focus on one thing. But it's like if I was just focusing on YouTube and school, or just YouTube, I would not have enough with YouTube to like help out around the house and pay for food when I want to go out and invest. You know, invest back into YouTube. So it'd be longer for me, you know, and it's less time. Like, yeah, you know, time is a thing, but when you're working, you're making that money. Let's say, you, you know, you work and have $20 with that $20. You pay someone to do a job that would have taken you to do in two hours. And with that two hours of extra time, you work and make $40. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. You work and make, you know, $15, whatever it is, you know, it helps. You know, so you got to do it right. You got to know your margins. Unless it makes a really good investment. But yeah, let me know how you feel in the comments down below your experience. Like, what do you think like about that? About working when you're young and hustling and hustling. I don't mean like hustle culture, bro. Like I get so many scam DMs, not scam DMs, like DMs of like people like I'll market you, you know, like these are Amon. Godzi or like drop shippers like they just they think no one knows about him like everyone knows about him So when you're hitting me up Martin, I'll market your YouTube channel for X amount of money You're like X amount. No, bro. Be careful, bro Like I see a lot of people like that. They're like for this much money a month I'll make sure you get this much but like if you don't get them that much money like that's a breach of contract You could promise them that they can do something bro. So be careful you know, and those those DMs are so annoying. I get so many of them. Or when I'm trying to like find editors, but I used to be an editor like that too. I would take like any job, and I was horrible at it, and I just thought I was so good. But sometimes I get people like they'll hit me up, like eight editing agencies. They'll hit me up like to edit for me, and um, I give them work, and sometimes it won't be the best work, or like sometimes it, um, like they'll say like <laughs> this one guy, he's trying to work with me for so many projects. And he's like, I'll make a free sample. I'm like, okay, make a 30-second sample. A couple of days later, he's like, hey, can I send the sample? I'm like, just send it. But I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, send it. He just uh, doesn't respond. And then I'll post an ad up. And then close station. Oh, hang on, someone's following me. Sorry about that. But yeah, like, you have to understand this too. Like, it's not permanent. If right now you're working a really crappy job you hate, it's not permanent. It's just temporary. And you're just doing what you got to do. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I ran up the stairs. Shoot, bro. Today my ass has been horrible, man. My allergies, too. Man. It's so hard for me to, like, breathe sometimes. Like, yeah. But my doctor gave me some new, a new inhaler with, like, steroids in it to open up my airway. airway. So hopefully that helps me. But it's not permanent. Like, people always tell me that because I don't like my job right now. And they're kind of really... Like, not mean, but my new department, yeah, they're mean. Because I'm in, like, a different position, but it's whatever. 
even if you feel unappreciated and disrespected, you're still making money, man. Think of the bigger goal. You know, let's say you're working a job now. It's giving you money, but you feel disrespected. Just eat it up, bro. Be the bigger person. Make that money and invest it. Think of what's best for your future, you know? Sure, I can yell and scream and curse on my boss and quit, but then I won't have enough money to invest in YouTube, and YouTube is my dream. But if I hold it out for maybe a little bit longer, I'll be, maybe, you know, I'll be where I want to be at, you know? So you got to just think of it like that. It's not permanent, you know? And if you already did make a mistake, like if you already quit a job and you regret it or something like that, it's all good, man. Everything happens for a reason, bro. Don't sweat it, bro. You learned from it. It's an experience. You already did it. Don't trip, man. Like it, it will get better. You know, you can easily get another job. It's all good, bro. Don't sweat it, man. Don't trip. You know, but it's not permanent, you know. It's temporary. You got to understand that too. Think of your future. Bro, we're so close, man. I hope it doesn't despawn. Come on. We got to get there. We got to get there. I want to get there. Come on, come on, come on. Ha, 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 come on. I got to get there. <sighs> Sometimes it's just chilling listening to a podcast playing minecraft or just talking just chill i'm so happy you guys have game sound now <laughs> it's been like how many episodes how many videos that i just got game sound added maybe i had it previously too i don't know i, I screwed up my obs and how to fix it but yo bro i'm so mad man i gotta keep going to those cores luckily i went back in the recording and just took a picture of it Come on, come on, come on, come on. If it despawned, bro, I'm, I'm just going to kill myself in the game. <laughs> and just spawn back and start over. Did I even have armor? I don't even think I had armor. Am I that stupid? Bro, we're going to... I got to get to the ender dragon. I should be like Tarzan and just jump in the trees. Bro, it's already nighttime already. How many times is it gonna be nighttime? Oh my gosh, if I get there and that same Enderman gets me, I'm gonna be so mad. There you go. Okay, do you guys think we can find it, bro? No, I'm going down. Come on, man. I need to go down. Oh my gosh, do I have any. Bro. I should have killed some sheep. Whatever. There's some sheep. Can you please say, please let me use different color wool? Come on, we're all the same. Stop being racist, Minecraft. Let me use different kind of wool. We're all the equal. I think it will. Come on, come on, break, 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 break. Break! Okay. Before the mobs spawn in. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I think this works. How? This is so racist, bro. We're all equal, and it does this, man. Minecraft, come on, bro. What is this, 1800s? Come on. Bro. Why Why is Minecraft so stupid? That's actually so dumb. That actually triggered me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's so dumb, though. Why can't you just use different color wool? Why can't it be, like, mixed? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, that's, that's not a rock. You, you know what I mean? Like, like just, like, a, like, whatever. Like, a bunch of random colors. Bro, that's annoying, man. Minecraft is so annoying. We're almost there, actually. I think it... De There's no way it despawned. Because if I'm in the same... If I'm not in the chunk, how would it despawn? You know? Leave me alone, skeletons. These skeletons are annoying sometimes.
I just have to go this way. Oh, finally some sheep. But I don't know where's the safe spot to go now. <sighs> what a day, man. Bro, are you serious? Imagine if that killed me. Where can I go? And it's like, oh my gosh. So what the heck? Perfect. There we go. Now I'm going to make a little hut. That witch is laughing at me, bro. That's fine. See, when someone laughs at you, it's okay, man. There we go. Perfect. We'll put that there. I'm probably going to suffocate in the wall, but who cares? Come on, game. Hurry. There we go. Yeah, I'll pick it up. I don't care. Let's go to my crafting bench. I got to be careful. If that witch is up there, bro, it's not going to be good for me. Come on, there you go. Bro, how deep is this? Running, I'm just running. I'm just gonna run. <laughs> Bro, cords are so dumb. How do these cords work, man? Ow, leave me alone, skeleton. What did I do to you, bro? No, what the heck is going on? Wait, bro, how do these cords work, man? Cords suck. Okay, so this is going up, down, I mean, and that's going down. Okay. So I need to go down both ways. So where, where am I facing? Where does it say, like, okay, towards, no, facing north. Okay, I'm facing north. I need to go north. Come on, come on, we're almost there, bro. Like, 500 more blocks. If all my stuff is there, I'm going to be so happy, but I doubt it. Run faster, Martin. I should have made like swiftness potions, but I can't. I haven't been to the I have been to the nether actually. I can go to adventure to the nether. That would be cool. Alright guys, we're almost there, like a hundred more blocks. So how's your day been? What you doing? Now it's raining. 
So the thing I don't like about Minecraft rain is they try to make it realistic. Like if I do weather clicker, it will start raining again faster and faster when you keep doing that. Cause it's like, I don't know why it does that. You have to do like tick. You have to reset like the tick speed or something. I don't know why it's annoying. So now I gotta go a few hundred blocks this way. I think it's this way. Yeah, I gotta go east a bit. Bro, I'm so dedicated. <laughs> Come on. If I find my stuff, bro, I'll be such a happy camper. I don't think I've ever been camping. Like, not legit camping. Like, I've set up something in my living room before as a kid and then went back in my room to sleep. <laughs> okay. Remember that thing over there? So, let's see. So, it was, like, 374. So let's get like 70 more blocks. And yeah, it was around like negative 2,300. Wait, how am I going to get back home? I should have got my cords. <laughs> uh, whatever, I'll just go to zero, zero. You know what? Let me set my spawn point here. Just in case I die again at that Enderman. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta go this way. Bro, I'm so bad at reading chords, man. It's so annoying. No, it would be in here, I think. Yeah, because of this area. <gasps> my stuff is here. Oh, no, that was a stupid cow. Oh my gosh. I got so happy No despawn. This is where it was <gasps> my XP. Oh my loot. Oh, thank God. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank God Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's go. We got everything man. There we go. Let's get everything bro Let's go bro. We got everything. Okay bet 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 mart Oh, finally, dude. I missed all this good loot. Bro, I have no armor. What's wrong with me? Am I stupid? Can Minecraft add backpacks, man? What else do I not need? Well, thank you guys for watching. Whoa, finally, bro.